This is possibly one thing I see low handicap golfers do, but high handicap golfers just avoid choking down. This is the real truth, everything you need to know on pitching and chipping. And hi, I'm Alex, I'm a PJ Gold Professional, and welcome down to the channel. This channel is powered by the viewers, and instead of this question coming in from YouTube, it comes from my lesson with John two days ago. I had to pull him up on it, and I've got to show you, because by the end, the results are gonna be amazing for you from this yardage. We are 60 yards away from the green. Now, for most of us, that would send quivers down our spine. The half shot, horrible. But firstly, what is choking down on the golf club? Now, go and grab a golf club if you can, and just grip it where you would normally. Now, most of us, the distance from our little pinky and the butt end of the golf club would probably be about an inch if we were sort of right at the end of that golf club as I am here. That would be where you would hold a seven iron and a full shot. Choking down is when we have more grip showing at this top end, okay? Now, why is it important? So one thing that I would say is, for most of us, and I'd put myself in this category, can be sometimes driver is the most erratic, right? It's the longest club. The one that definitely would have the most curve. Our sand wedge could be erratic, but probably the golf club that we have most control with on full shots and definitely doesn't curve anywhere near as much as any other. So my point being, right, the longer the club, the less likely we are to control the club face. The faster we swing it and the more likely we're going to hit it a little bit offline. The shorter the club, the more control, the more likely we are to hit it online. So, my point is, gripping down on these shorter shots is going to give you more control for a few reasons. One, you're going to shorten that lever. It's going to help you control that club head speed. And after all, from 60 yards, we're after that control of speed. We don't want to blast it. We want to have that control. It's also going to have more control of where that club face is pointing because it's a shorter club or even shorter after gripping down. It's also going to allow you to get a little bit closer to it and get your weight on your left. This is all going to help you strike the golf ball away. So let me show you what John was doing. I think this is a great place just to start with this. He was gripping it right at the end of the golf club, almost like a seven iron, no weight left. And this made it really scoopy and really hard to control the distance. And in fact, Sometimes his strike was good, but very often it just popped up and came really short and sometimes a little bit fat and thin. This is what we said. And by the way, we'll do this with chipping as well. Grip down, you can see that on that close up. Get into that ball a little bit closer, a little bit narrower, weight on your left. And you're gonna feel as though you can control that club head speed. You're gonna feel as though you control that club head way better. Right, let's set this one away. Get dancing round that flag. Woo -hoo. There we go. Right, let's go and head a bit closer because this is vitally important even on those chip shots. Now, let's talk you through how choking down really helps you on this shot. When we've got chip shots just off the green, when we've got sort of our grip right at the end, it can sort of get that ball firing off that face. Got away with that one up the slope. But my point is firing off that club face. We don't want that. We want full control all the time. So on these chip shots, I like to have probably sort of two to three inches showing right at the top. Again, for the similar reasons of the pitch, it allows me to get a little bit closer to it. It allows me to get my chest slightly ahead and I feel I've got more control of a shorter club, one of speed, one of direction in terms of where that face is pointing. So hitting shots like this become a lot more subtle, a lot more under control, and that's 100% the way we've got to go. So think about these nice, simple rules this way when gripping down. I follow these rules every single time when gripping down. If I am inside 100 yards on a pitch shot, I would grip down and have two inches showing at the top from my little pinky to the butt end of the club. Now, as I get closer, I grip down more. So plug the gap in between this. When I'm chipping around the green, I grip down to where I have three inches showing at the top. Again, from the pinky 
to the butt end of the club. This gives you way more control. This gives you way more control of not only club head speed, but where the club face is pointing. Give it a go, try it, and look forward to hearing back from you.